my entire body was pounding. I couldn't walk um, and it was difficult to speak as well. I was absolutely terrified. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know that I would ever be able to talk and smile again without being in extreme pain. What we believe happened was that she contracted some type of malarial illness and then as a consequence of that had some neurologic kind of symptoms that were longer lasting which is not something that most of us have a lot of experience treating in this part of the world and at this institution. I am a field biologist and a primate rehabilitation specialist. Getting tropical infections became part of the job. Despite vaccines and preventatives from the age of four years old, I was just fascinated with non-human primates. I would take my stuffed animal chimpanzee to school with me and I would tell people that I'm gonna go work with primates one day. This was my dream come true. In Africa, adult primates are hunted for bushmeat. Infants are sold. Um, and our job is to go obtain these primates and work them back into social groups. And then suitable animals are released back into the wild. And it's just so heartwarming to see these animals have a second chance at living back um, in a natural environment. I've had malaria, dengue fever, and I also had a paratyphoid B infection. In April 2016, I started to feel really sick. I started to develop an electrocuting sensation into my tongue, my lips, my face. It spread to my ears, my head, my shoulders, and then down my spine and my left arm. I actually developed a transient paralysis into my left side of my face and arm and leg. Then I developed an inability to swallow and it absolutely, absolutely terrified me. I was referred to UCSF and a neurologist there, he gave me the option to go to Mayo or Rush and I chose Rush. Some of what she was suffering from was a condition called synkinesis and this condition occurs after a period of weakness of the face and then as the muscle recovers it often has abnormal movements. I was able to help Lindsay with botulinum injections to weaken muscle to relieve some of that spasm. That allowed a relief of an element of the pain and better coordination of the muscle movements. But the muscle pain and the nerve pain that she suffered from as well, I knew could be better treated by a rush pain center and so I referred her there. The whole nervous system was functioning at a much higher rate and firing off, creating these pain symptoms. So our uh, approach was to target individually different areas of the nervous system and try and press the reset button to bring her from a hyperdrive mode to a normal drive. So this uh, involved a series of uh, nerve blocks that we did with uh, ultrasound guidance. We were learning how to cope with the day-to-day -day of the struggles that come along with, you know, aches and pains and headaches, but also weakness and some other neurological symptoms that she was having. Um, but then also that she could find some meaning and value in her life, you know, as she was collecting all the information she needed from her experts at Rush. Little by little, we just kept improving upon the pain. The care that I've received at Rush, it has been a journey that I never imagined I would embark on. And I guess I never realized either the amount of people and time and dedication that it would take to get me functioning again, yet alone out of that severe pain. We had the advantage of all these specialists under one roof or several roofs connected together. Because if you are out in the community in a smaller hospital or in a private clinic on your own, it's very difficult to get these referrals all in one place and coordinate care between different specialties. We listened to her concerns, developed a game plan, and then utilized our resources here at Rush and our colleagues. My first week being back, you know, I think it was just a rush of really incredible sensations. Seeing my friends again in Lagos, and then finally making my way into the rainforest. Seeing the chimps and drills again for the first time, it was just an overwhelming sense of joy that I felt. I appreciate what each of you have done for me over these years for taking away my pain, for making it easy to smile and talk again, and continuing getting me to this point of returning to what I love most. 
you gave back a part of my world that I didn't think I could have again. And I couldn't be happier. Thank you guys so, so much.